Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Koji Joey from the Joey Dutch, a portrait stroke nude photographer. Yes, I admit I'm a nude photographer now. And happy new year. Welcome to this new year 2020. More blessings, more gigs for every creative out there. And before we get right into this video, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Turn on that bell notification icon so that you get notified when I drop a new video here on my YouTube channel because I'll be dropping a lot this year. And give me a thumbs up if this content made you know something new and let me know down in the description or down in the comment section below if you have any problems concerning this video or any other video so in one of my previous videos about using lats to grade your images i mentioned that i'll do a video where i teach you guys how to create your own lats so this is it this is for my instagram page so dark skin lats i have three of the dark skin tone the toning lats and i give one out for free so if you want that watch it Old video I posted here so this was what was happening and this was the before this was the after the lat so in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to create your own lat in Photoshop So what you have to do when you come into Photoshop, always work on the base layer, right? With the LAT, you are not looking at creating duplicates, you're not looking at masking and all that. Fine, the max um, adjustment layer will happen, but you don't really need to max. So what you have to do is, let's see, let's just grade this image to how you think you want to grade the image. So first, I'll pick up the black and white. Um, yeah. Only hold on, I think my machine is adjusting. So I'll pick up the black and white and I'll change this from normal to say overlay. Sorry, to black and white layers. So normal to overlay and I'll adjust how I want my redness and my yellows. There are no greens, there are no, okay, I think that there are cyans in the picture. No, I'm not sure. Okay, so it's basically reds and yellows, right? And I'll reduce my, my opacity, sorry, before and after. So what I normally do to, um, when I'm working or when I'm grading images, initially I create two black and white layers. The first one I change to bl uh, the blending mode to overlay. The second one I use a gradient map. I'll make sure my two colors here are black and white. Then I pick my gradient map. This is how I desaturate my images. I think I've been saying this on my social media a lot. Whenever I want to grade or whenever you're looking at creating perfect grades, always desaturate your images. So this is how I desaturate them. Let's see how TNT works. Sorry. So before and after, right? You're looking at something great here. So with every dark skin or melanin girl, I think you have to add some blues to the skin, right? So let's look at photo filter. Change the warm, the filter to, let's say, cooling filter, this is too harsh. Cooling filter 82. I think it adds a bit of cyan into the image too. And I think I like that one too. So I reduce the saturation a little bit. Keep it at 30. So have this in mind. With creating the lats, you're looking at um, going way overboard because after creating the lats, you obviously what reduce your own satur um, sorry, you reduce your opacity when you're using the lat. So go overboard with it. Whatever it is you have to do, if you want to add curves, right? So let's curve and Bear in mind, the S curve, whenever you create an S curve, on the normal blending layer, add saturation to image. So if you want, you're looking at reducing the saturation again, use the gradient map, but we've already done that, right? So I'll add another curve, then I'll go into the blues. I'll bring down, I want to add some yellows into the highlights. And yes, I'll reduce the saturation a little bit go into selective colors <laughs> and 
um, let's see, let's play with white. Let's see how the white work. Okay, I'll add some yellow. Wow. You know, the opposite of yellow is blue. Right, so I'm now looking at adding blues into my white. I'll warm it up by adding a little bit of yellows. Changing the cyan. So, opposite of cyan is red, as you can see. Opposite of magenta is green, as you can see. Opposite of yellow is blue, and so goes on. But it's at zero. So, let's see how this one works. So, we're just playing with the sliders over here. So, I don't really have this thing planned. It's the video I'm doing for you guys. So, you guys know what grading is all about. I think the white, I would keep it this way. Another selective color adjustment. I go into my reds. Let's add some yellows into the reds. So warm up the tone. It was looking too reddish for me. Warm it up. Right? Before and after. Let's go into the yellows. I see adding some greens. Yep. I think I'm loving this already. So let's go crazy. I want to add some color balance. Right? Highlight. For one minute up, looks off. Let's cool it down and add some reds. So the before and after. Let me group all these. And let's see what we've done so far so before the grade after the grade before the grade after the grade and let's take it out of um, the group and this is where I think you guys are here for or this is what you guys are here for if you want to create your own lat like I said always work on the base layer do whatever adjustments you have to do don't max anything leave it this way then you go to file export color lookup table so lookup table is what is what has been acronym to lut lats right color lookup table description let's say melanin let's label this melanin copyright let's do that is mine make sure not to change all these things leave it at 32 medium and I'm sure that for the very first time, all these things will be checked in. So just check everything out and leave the cube on. Hit on OK. Choose the location to which you would want the lat to be saved. Let me save it on my desktop. Rename this to Melanin Desaturated. So Melanin D. Right? Save. So this is what Photoshop does. And here, yeah, boom, we're done. Now let me group these. And hide them and apply the lats we just created. So look for the color lookup table adjustment, which is this, or you can go down here, and look for color lookup table. Right? Let's load the lats we've created. Load, look for it on my desktop. I think it's on my desktop here. Double click and it opens. So this is what we have created so far. Right? So if I want to reduce the opacity, I just reduce the opacity. Right, then I'm in between what I shot initially and what we created. If I want to increase the effect, I just duplicate this. And maybe I'll decrease the opacity of the second one. And the first one, I'll reduce it a little bit too. So in between, this is what we have. Before and after. Before and after. Right. So to make um, your color lookup table a default in Photoshop, you guys know I have the Choco Toning app there on my YouTube channel. I'll leave a suggest card up there so you guys get to check it out. So to make it a default, sorry, to make it a default, default lat in Photoshop, just locate where you saved the lat to, copy it, look out the C program files, Adobe Photoshop 2019. Presets, locate 3D LATS and paste it here. So as you can see, I have my caramel and my chocotone in there. So that's making it a default for me. If I should paste this here, right? 
administrative permission, I continue. And it becomes a default. So if I, with this, if I want to see it here, I'll just restart Photoshop and it just shows up here. So that's it guys, that's what I have for you guys in this 2020 and keep keep your eyes locked on my YouTube channel because I have a lot of videos coming out for you guys. And once again, if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn that, on, turn that bell notification icon, sorry I'm talking too fast, turn that bell notification icon on so that whenever I drop a new video here on my YouTube channel, you get notified. And smash that like button if you like this video and let me know down in the comment section below if there are any concerns you have concerning any of my videos or this video in particular then i just get right to it thanks guys once again and i'll see you in the next video bye